Hello everybody, it's Pineapple here, back with another video. So today we're talking about the brand new archetype that was revealed for the next deck build set, and that is Valmonica. Uh, now there are a series of fiends and fairies, and if you are a master tool player, I am more than certain that the words fiend fairy have triggered your fight or flight response due to the most recent event being an absolute nightmare to both play in and with and against, and everything about the lab mirror is horrible and awful. Uh, but that said, let's talk about these cards. First up, we have... Angelo of Almonica. It's a Dark Fairy Pendulum Effect level 4 with scale 3. Now, its Pendulum Effect is while you have a Fiend Monster card in your other Pendulum Zone, each time you gain life points, you place a Resonance Counter on this card. And once per turn, when an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can immediately after this effect resolves, Link Summon 1 of Almonica Monster. We'll get into what those do later. Uh, but its monster effect reads as follows. You can only use the first and second monster effect of this card's name once per turn. If this card is in your hand, discard another card. Place this card and one Demon Valmonica from your deck in your Pendulum Zone. So it's also kind of a sort of pseudo-monkey board at the cost of a discard. And during your main phase, if this card is normal or special summon this turn, you can banish a Valmonica normal spell trap from your graveyard. This effect becomes that card's life point gain effect when that card is activated. And all of them do that, and we'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, Demone Valmonica, this is the one that is searched by the other one. Um, and it is a Light Fiend Pendulum level 4 with scale 5, which means that, you know, when they're in the scales, they can only Pendulum some of level 4s, which is kind of nice. Uh, its Pendulum effect is while you have a Fairy card monster in your other Pendulum zone. Each time you take effect damage, place a Resonance Counter on this card, you know, like the other one that it is searched by, um, which is great. Uh, and monsters your opponent controls is 100 attack for each Resonance Counter on cards you control, so it kind of is like a pseudo uh, Shizuku, which is kind of nice. Um, and then... Uh, its monster effects are as follows. If this card is in your hand, discard another card, place this card in Angelo of Almonica from your deck in your Pendulum Zone, meaning that they search each other, so that's always nice. Uh, they're both sort of monkey board. Uh, and during your main phase, if this card is normal special summon this turn, you get to banish a Valmonica's normal spell trap. This card effect becomes that card's damage inflicting effect when that card is activated, so it's able to copy more of your spell traps, uh, which is, you know, kind of nice and facilitates the, their gimmick. Uh, and then we have a Link 1, uh, Odd Deity Valmonica. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, but this is the Dark One. Uh, it's the Dark Fairy. It's a 2,500 attack. It's a Link 1. Its materials are 1 effect monster, and it cannot be Link Summon unless you have a Fairy Monster card with 3 or more Resonance Counters in your Pendulum Zone, and you can only Special Summon it once per turn. Uh, if it is Link Summon, you get to target monsters your opponent controls up to the number of Resonance Counters on cards in your Pendulum Zone. Destroy them. Uh, so it's, it's basically a board wipe because you're going to be popping at least 3, which is unbelievable and really, really awesome. Uh, you can also remove 3 Resonance Counters from cards in your Pendulum Zone. This card can make a second and third attack during each battle phase this turn, so uh, it's, it's a crazy OTK tool, which is, you know, always nice. Um, we then have the Link 1 that is a Light Fiend. Uh, can't be Link Summon unless you have a Fiend monster card with three or more resonance counters in your Pendulum Zone. You can only special it once per turn as well, and if it would be destroyed by battle card effect, you can remove three resonance counters from cards in your Pendulum Zone instead. Uh, I think the maintenance cost to protect it is really, really high, but I guess we'll have to see how consistent it is at putting resonance counters in your pendulum zone. And once per turn during your opponent's turn, quick effect, you can target one of your Valmonica normal spell traps that is banished during your graveyard. It becomes that card's effect when it's activated, meaning that you can burn yourself and gain life points at the same time, which is great. Um, so the field spell, uh, you can only activate one card with this card's name once per turn, and you can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. When it resolves, you add a Valmonica monster from your deck to your hand. So, you know, when you activate it, it searches the mod spell the monsters, which, you know, scale, uh, which is really, really good. Um, so, and uh, if the third resonance counter is placed on a card in your pendulum zone, you get to target one monster your opponent controls, take control of it until the end phase, but it cannot declare an attack. Now, this is really good because then you can link away, you know, your opponent's monsters for your link ones to OTK. So, just really, really, really good. Um, additionally, we have another normal spell, uh, Valmonica Ververse. You can only activate one card one card with this card's name once per turn, apply these effects to your opponent's choice, and if you do not have a Valmonica card in your pendulum zone, uh, so your opponent gets to pick if you don't have a Valmonica card in your pendulum zone, either gain 500, then excavate the top cards of your deck until you excavate a Valmonica card, and if you do, add it to your hand and then shuffle the rest back into your deck, or take 500 damage and then you get to send a Valmonica card from your deck to your graveyard. Um, so in other words, if you know you don't have a Valmonica card in your pendulum zone, your opponent is pretty much always going to force you to bin a card, which isn't always bad, but it's not ideal. You would always want to be excavating until you find one. Um, we then have Valmonica in a Tonar. Uh, you can only activate one card with this card's name once per turn. Apply each of these effects to your opponent's choice again. If you don't have a Valmonica card in your pendulum zone, gain 500. Then your opponent chooses one monster in your graveyard that can be special summon, if any, for you to special summon it. Uh, and or take 500 damage and then add a level 4 monster from your graveyard to your hand. So again, if you've been a level 4, then you can bring it back with uh, this one, but it's not as good as, you know, obviously excavating until you find. Um, but again, neither are bad options. Uh, we then have a normal trap, Valmonica to the Guiding Rhythm. 
You can only activate this card's name once per turn. If you control a Valmonica normal, uh, if you control a Valmonica monster card, apply one of these effects. Or if you control a Valmonica link monster, you can apply both in sequence, gain 500, then destroy a spell trap on the field, take 500, then return a monster on the field to the hand. So if you're noticing, you're going to get a whole bunch of resonance counters very, very quickly. Um, the, I think that this deck archetype is actually reasonably playable. And the last card is, of course, Valmonica uh, of the selecting melody. If you control a Valmonica, I think. Uh, Monster card, apply one of these effects. If you control Valmonica Link Monster, you can apply both in sequence, gain 500, then your opponent cannot target a Valmonica card you control with card effects for the rest of this turn. Take 500, then you can negate the effects of one effect monster your opponent controls until the end of this turn. Um, I think this archetype is exceptionally playable, presuming that they get some searchers later, um, which I think is very likely. Uh, deck built archetypes have a very strong tendency to get really, really busted support later on. Think stuff like Labyrinth getting Big Welcome and Lady. Uh, think Rescue Ace getting e Telly from deck. Think Pearly with Pearl Lily. Um, just really strong deck build stuff usually comes in the second wave. But this seems reasonably playable for a first wave of deck build support, which is rather odd. Uh, but I'm very interested to see how, you know, a Pendulum strategy which facilitates rank fours and doesn't have a ton of restrictions is able to play, you know, well with other Pendulum cards because Pendulum is kind of a soup. But uh, if you did enjoy this little discussion breakdown, etc., etc., Make sure you guys like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one.